Welcome back, everybody. We are here for the fourth match that we are covering tonight here, and this is going to be Male Models versus Aztec. And Buddy promised me that this is going to be one of the best matches of the night, so looking forward to it here. We're going to have Models Chaos from NDP, Tilter, Habibi, and Marcos versus 3MF, Bort, Solly, and King from Aztec. And uh, these guys, well, they certainly have a fancy tag. And uh, I like their tag. It's uh, very colorful. And uh, I'm excited about that. Normally, when a team has colorful tags and fancy characters in their name, they're very good. So hopefully, we're going to see a pretty good matchup here. Uh, Captain Crunch, you're a little more familiar with uh, Team Aztec than I am. Why don't you uh, give us uh, your uh, breakdown on how you think this match is going to go and uh, what we can expect here. Well, basically Dead Slash, and one of the things to take into consideration here is um, where Aztec is playing. Uh, if you didn't notice, the colors green, white, and red uh, represent for the Mexican flag. These guys are mainly comprised of Mexican players um, actually living in Mexico. Uh, so server location does play a big, big factor in a lot of uh, the games that these guys play. I know I've faced up uh, between them a couple of times where ping did become a factor. And let's look at their pings right now, in fact. Uh, oh, wow, this, this is pretty bad. Uh, we've got Aztec Soli with a 100 ping. We've got 3MF with 80. King with 92. And Bort with 128. Uh, average team ping of 100. And now if we go over to male models, take a look at their ping. Uh, Habibi with a 28. Marcos with a 28. Tilter 49. And Chaos. Uh, with a 56 average ping of 41. So as you can see, um, Aztec really put on the uh, combat boots here, being troopers, trying to pull out uh, a victory at with 97, 96 average ping. So uh, that's something to keep in consideration, and I really think it's going to be a big factor here. And let's see if male models, you know, can take advantage of that fact and kind of run through these guys. Yeah, that uh, is what I would consider, I always joke when somebody has ping like that, I call it third world ping, like 56k modem, obviously their modems are fine, it's their location and, and how far they are from the server is what the difference is here, and yeah, you're right when you say that they're being troopers, because to me, trying to play a first person shooter with a ping over 100 is a fate worse than death, and uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not something that uh, I really like to do, because you play, it's so sluggish, you're behind in all your shots. It gets very, very frustrating. And props them for doing it. And I, I gotta say, if they can keep this one close, and and uh, like I said, buddy, uh, who helped put, well, who didn't help, who did put this tournament together, thinks that this is gonna be a good match. That's mad props to Aztec, mad skills, being able to keep it close against a team as good as and as experienced as models with this kind of a ping advantage for models. So I'll believe it when I see it. I expect Aztec to have their hands full on this one. Uh, although, again, I do like their tag quite a bit. I might I might rip it off and just start running around with Dead Slash Aztec. Like just that tag, if I can recreate it. Just for the hell of it. And what do we have left? We have everybody is not ready, so I'm going to make sure these guys know that we are ready to go, and then hopefully we're going to see some really good action on this one. As uh, this, so far we've seen models barely edge out, well not barely, beaten by 20, USU in a very good, or get beat by USU by 20 in a very good match. Then we saw them absolutely annihilate and manhandle Maximum Carnage, who uh, did minimal carnage. Actually, I think they did negative carnage on that one. And uh, so we haven't seen Aztec yet tonight, and we're, this is going to be the first time that we see them. So. This should be pretty exciting, and uh, I am looking forward to it. So, uh, Captain, chat it up here while I make sure these teams know we're waiting on them. Yeah, and it looks like they're already here, so they're just kind of getting a feel for the map, which uh, I don't know if both teams are unfamiliar. This is a very classic map uh, for Unreal Tournament. It's as as this. It's going to be a large play map, and basically we're going to see a lot of hit scan and a lot of control uh, of areas in this map. Uh, we may even see some baiting take place as to where players are going to camp around 100 and 50 and wait for, um, you know, the... the uh, other member to come to them. So that's going to be interesting to see how this map is played out. Uh, a more traditional style uh, Unreal Tournament map. 
Yeah, this is definitely is not a, a Tam, uh, not something that we see a lot when you're playing Tam Pog. But well, it's not a it's not a standard map for any ladder that uh, we cover that I've ever played on, and you don't see a lot on pub. So this definitely is taking the Tam players out of their element. So kind of a uh, a transition where you know the first round. Everybody got to play Rankin, which is a map that you play plenty of times when you're playing Tam. Then, uh, w you know, went to Corrugation, which is one that you uh, sort of play a little bit on Tam. Not the most popular map, but, you know, it's out there. It's selectable as a map uh, in Cal, and I believe on uh, on the, the Scrim Ladder. And now we're, we're on a map that you just simply don't see a lot of. So... The transition is uh, complete here, and now any any comforts or familiarities that the the Tam players had, uh, you know, they're they're warmed up, their TDM juices are flowing, and they've taken away that last little bit of comfort, and hopefully uh, we're going to see, like you said, some really really explosive action. A lot of camp might be a lot of camping, a lot of uh, baiting people out on those power ups, and uh, I'm going to see we're going to see if models is able to control the power ups, and I wonder if that'll end up being the difference you know in this matchup because it, so far they've been pretty much unabated in their control of power-ups no one's really given them any kind of uh, competition on that nobody's really even tried to, to, to stop them so uh, quick shout out I almost forgot the uh, I chatted out already the IRC game radius dot org pound tam dot pug that's a tam pug they're looking for people right now so uh, I got a shout out they're looking for people in there as we speak, that's from uh, Benefit Shock saying, uh, get some people in here for the love of God. And uh, so he wants to get a game going. Of course, uh, as soon as you're done watching our program, then you can go in there, but not until then. Thank you. But uh, that is just a reminder. Very good for the TAM community. IRC.GameRadius.org. Pound TAM dot pug. So we were waiting on a member of Aztec who is back now and said that they're ready so we should be ready to go right away ready I'm excited and we're gonna wait for everybody to go and uh, well it's time 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 definitely one of the games you play is the waiting game uh, you know it'd be nice if we could snap our fingers and have everybody you know ready at the drop of a dime but unfortunately on the internet things don't work that smooth um, as you can see everybody's getting everything critiqued ready to go into this big map but once again just gotta stress 92 average ping for Aztec going up against 43 average ping for male models that is a huge differential and on most competitive ladders that actually uh, that much of a differential is um, calls or grounds for silver sweat so I don't know if that's a you know an option as of right now but you definitely don't see Aztec complaining about it and that's why you gotta give them props these guys come out uh, and play on East East Coast ladders and competing for Mexico, putting up a great force here, you know, even if they do have 90 ping. Um, so here we are getting ready, and I think we're going to start our countdown relatively soon. Dead Slash, would you like to count down? I know how excited you get over them. It gives me the chills. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. That if, if, if Between you and me, we just uh, mute everybody out for a second. If I was any more excited, I would need adult diapers. Okay, well, we're back live now. And, uh, yeah, as soon as that countdown gets going, that uh, always gives me the chills. And well, we have Noon, I believe. You know, I wonder, is Noonet on with Noonet? Oh, here we go. Here's with the uh, countdown. But uh, Noonet, the ping advantage 